Okay, so we have a new 7-star raid Pokemon, and in the past, these Pokemon have been difficult, to say the least. Now, they aren't the most insane thing in the world by any means, but it's taken me and a stream viewer or two in order to consistently beat them. And now for the third 7-star event, we have a Poison-type Greninja. Now, this Greninja is going to be an issue because it has Stab, Water, Dark, and Poison, which its move pool covers pretty well. And it also means you don't want to bring Ground or Psychic types necessarily because he'll send those packing. Okay, so most of this video was actually recorded before the raid became live, and we didn't know the moves yet. So now I know that the moves, number one, it starts off on turn one with double team and toxic spikes, meaning you're going to be swapping Pokemon in to get poisoned. And you're also going to be uh, trying to hit something that has boosted evasion -ness. meaning it's going to be harder to hit and everybody's going to be poisoned, slowly losing health. Um, Other than that, right now, it looks like it's regular moves are Hydro Pump, Night Slash, Ice Beam, and Gunk Shot. So the moves are a little different than what we all expected, and it's kind of a mixed, like, mixed attacking set. Um, it seems like all the Pokemon in the video should still work. We also figured out that it's Protean and not Battle Bond, which is actually amazing for us because it basically means Greninja does not have an ability because it doesn't change its type considering the fact that it's already terrestrialized. So that's at least a positive. Okay, just pop back in real fast. It also has double team as a part of its regular move set. apparently. It's not just its turn one setup. So yeah, that's something to be worried about. Um, it, it, it won't affect too much. I mean, if it's going to double team, it's going to double team. You know what I mean? Now, as far as strategies for it, I'm going to share with you some of the best ones I've found. First up, we got Vaporeon. Now, Vaporeon's job is to raise its stats and make itself more bulky with Calm Mind and Acid Armor, making it eat more hits and also making it hit harder because of Calm Mind. It's also going to have fake tears to lower Greninja's special defense and stored power as its only attacking move. So what you're going to want to do is pretty much spam Calm Mind to raise your special defense and your own attack. After you've done six of those, you're going to want to use three Acid Armors and then three fake tears. What this is going to do is give you max defense, special defense, and special attack as well as giving Greninja the lowest special defense it can have. This should make it so you have a 380 base power attack that's super effective with stored power and about 1.4 thousand points in your special attack. And you're going to be giving Greninja its lowest possible special defense with an IV spread of max special attack, max HP, and the other four in special defense and a modest nature and the health from leftovers, you should be able to easily solo Greninja. The key word here is solo because if he gets hit enough to put up a shield, you're in trouble. However, if everything goes right and that shield doesn't get set up you should be able to one shot and solo the dumb frog oh on another tip if it seems like it's going to eat hits without leftovers give it a twisted spoon or expert belt in order to help it lock in that one shot another pokemon that people want to use is cleft king this one has the same plan using prankster to set up call mines and iron defenses to raise your stats and using metal sound to lower special attack and then you try to kill with stored power yet again my issue with this is it's nowhere near as bulky as vaporeon and it doesn't have water absorb so even with leftovers i don't see it living enough to be useful here if you want to try this pokemon then here's the evs in nature as well however personally I don't see it getting used. On the other hand, if you don't want to rely on stored power sets, there's three other Pokemon that seem to be really good for this raid. Plotsider seems good because it gets Amnesia and Curse, an Acid Spray to raise its defenses and lower Greninja's special defenses, with Water Absorb and Leftovers to also gain its health back, and doing decent chunks of damage with Earth Power, the EV spread on screen Modest Nature along with Ground Terratype in order to help it do more damage with Earth Power. People have also been bringing up the idea of Quagsire, using Curse and Amnesia to raise its defenses and Water Absorb and Recover for, well, recovery. And then it wants to use Earthquake to do more damage while holding Soft Sand and having Ground Terra type. Adamant Nature with the EV spread on screen, I don't necessarily see the point in bringing this over Clodsire, because I think Clodsire would just be better overall, and that hurts to say because I love this beautiful bastard. Now the last one I'm going to talk about is probably my second favorite out of all the mons I've talked about so far, with Vaporeon still being my number one strat. If you want something that's not as hard to set up and is basically a mix between Clodsire and Quagsire, we have Gastrodon. With Acid Armor and Amnesia to raise its defense, defenses and recover to keep it alive. Other than that, it has Ground Terra, Soft Sand, and Earth Power to, to dish out decent damage. My favorite part about this mod is that it has Storm Drain, meaning every time it gets hit with water moves, it does not take damage and it gets a raise in special attack, making it even deadlier. Real quick, I'm gonna pop in here at the end, because now that we know, like what the move set and everything is on it, I'm actually gonna say King Gambit might be decent. I would say with Shell Bell and Defiant, that way if its stack gets lowered by any reason, it gets plus two attack. Honestly, none of its other abilities are that good for it. Shell Bell, just so it gets some HP back off of attacking. Swords Dance, Zen Headbutt for super effective. Iron Head for stab and 
Pow Tau Cleave, I'm gonna say. I probably pronounced that wrong. The only reason why I think this mod will be good, because it has just as good of resistances as like something like Klefki, but its signature move does 85 base dark damage, which is neutral, yeah, but it also cannot miss. So if you're having issues because of double team, this could be the mod for you. Just throwing it in here at the end. I also have Terra Type Steel, because it's probably the better ability to get right before the raid. Uh, yeah, okay, G good luck. On to the outro, I guess. Okay, so I promise this is the last time I am popping in here. Number one, for your guys' sakes, and number two, because I have like an hour and a half to make this video before I go live. So apparently the slow bro from the last Cinderace event is working really well, and uh, that is just a slow bro, max HP, max special attack. The extra four EVs, throw them into defense and make it modest nature. Give it a shell bell with own tempo. I don't think the, I actually don't think the, uh, the ability matters here, but everyone says own tempo, so yeah. Iron defense, nasty plot, chilling water, and store power. You want to use chilling water if you need to lower its attack, which honestly you shouldn't have to. Nasty plot and iron defense to bulk yourself up, and then store power to pretty much just nuke the fucking thing. Paratype doesn't really matter. I would actually argue water's better here, so you don't get, uh... Night slashed. Yeah. Okay. I promise this is the last time I'm popping in here because this video has got to go up. All right. Now that I've gone over all the mons, I think would be at least decent. I will say, I think Vaporeon uh, and Slowbro and maybe King Gambit sometimes will be like the best ones for the raid. With that being said, this is literally the first video on the channel. So if you enjoyed it and or it helped you, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like and sub. Uh, because honestly, I'm desperate for subs and the like would help this get pushed out more to help even more people. Last thing before I go is that when this video goes up, I'll actually be live on this very YouTube channel. So if you like this, then get, get in the stream. It'll be just as much of a good time. And you can like try it with me and we can fail together and cry or something. I don't know, man.